I want to ask ourselves, who is God in your life? And what does it mean to love God as God loves in the book of Hosea? What has God commanded you to do that seemed unreasonable at the time? And how did you respond? And what is it like being reconciled to the Lord? And how do we show our love for the adulterous spouse? What has God commanded you to do that seemed unreasonable at the time? And how did you respond? When God asked me to let go of the small G-O-D-S, the gods, that I was once pala na clinging dun sa mga smaller gods sa life ko. I wanted God, the big God, the ultimate God na ang sumunod dun sa mga desires ko sa buhay ko. And yet, at the end of the day, I get lagi akong heartbroken, uh, palaging empty, hindi na feel yung heart with that. So, how did I respond when God asked me to let go of those things? Magkaroon ako ng self-reflection. If I continue to cling on the things na I wanted to control in my life, sabi nga po nila, di ba, obedience is better than sacrifice. So, to, to obey is to simply submit without a word, to do what is right rather than being right. Alisin ko yung right ko to have but to give more. So when God said, paano ko nag-respond to let go on the things na yung mga small G-O-D-S ko, I trusted God without any conditions. Kasi dati may conditions. Susunod ako Lord, basta ibigay mo sa akin ito. <laughs> Maniniwala ako basta makita ko muna yung result. Paano kung yung kagaya sa haba ko na though the fig tree doesn't blossom, it doesn't bear fruit. Pero sabi ni Habakkuk, yet I will still praise God. Hindi ako nag-let go po personally sa fellowship. Just like in Hebrews 10.25, do not forsake the assembly para magkaroon ng encouragement sa bawat isa. Doon ko po nakuha yung lakas ko unang-una sa Lord and hindi ko naman malalaman yung direction ni God without this assembly gathering uh, who keeps on reminding me on the things that I needed to do. Thank you, Sis Hana. So, when we bargain with God, it is a conditional obedience. We think the power is in us. There is no surrender no, to God's sovereignty. There's no surrender to God's will. It's my will, not your will be done. Elaine, do you have a response to that? Wala naman, Sis. Ah, okay. So, uh, does anybody want to go next? Or what is it like being reconciled to the Lord? joy and happiness. Kasi nga, di ba, lagi akong present, absent, present, absent. And then, I really need to, ano, give time to the Lord. Kasi, when good things happen to our life, it's not because of us. Especially, if bad things are happening in our life, the more that we need to be closer to the Lord, to reconcile. And, sa start pa lang, it was really true na, uh, ang dami mong gusto as a wife. Tapos, she ends up, imagine, ibibenta na lang siya. She was so dirty and parang lahat na nawala. Eh, he was, she was not satisfied. Sabi nga niya sa husband niya, you gave me nothing. So, pagpunta niya dun sa isang lalaki, look what happened to her. It made her life miserable until such time na ibibenta na siya. And, Kung hindi pa dumating yung husband niya, wala tayong bibili sa kanya yung value mo as a person. But when when the husband, isang silver lang yung kailangan. Eh. So I was thinking, paano kaya pag uwi nila? Baka naubos na, wala na ba talaga silang pera? Pero the, I think yung gesture ng husband na you're not only um one silver, your value is not only one silver. Your value is all that I have. Thank you, sis. Wow, ang laking bagay nun na Akala ni Gomer, you gave me nothing sa, to her husband. Pero actually, her husband gave everything for her. That's what Jesus gave, no? Everything, his life. Number two, uh, what does it mean to love as God loves in the book of Hosea? Like yung um, sagot ni Sis Grace kanina, grabe yung, ano, um, before po kasi, um, um, nung first time kong nabasa yung Hosea, medyo new Christian pa po ako. Medyo nagtampo ko kay Lord na, bakit ganun Lord? Ang bait-bait ni Hosea. Tapos, hinayaan mong ma-experience niya yung ganito, ganitong life, ganun. Tapos, I realized na, ako pala si Gomer, and yung love ni God is like yung katulad nung kay Hosea, na, na katulad nung sinasabi ni Sis Grace kanina, na nakakaiyak siya kasi, ang dumi mo na, ang wretched mo na tingnan, inoksyon ka, for only one silver, but si Hosea gave 15 silver and and dami pa, may barley pa and all. And after nun, parang pinroof pa ni Hosea publicly 
how niya kamahal si Gomer kasi kinarga niya pa, kinary niya, yung ganun parang, wow, um, ilang beses natin uh, tinatalikuran si God, yung nahihirapan tayong mag-obey sa kanya, tapos sabihin natin, sabihin natin na, Lord, hindi, yung gusto ko, ganito yung gusto ko. Pero, um, look, look at how He loves us, look at how He he forgives, parang, Grabe, grabe, great love talaga siya. Ano, amazing, amazing love na ang hirap i-comprehend. Nakakaiyak na nakakakilig at the same time. Ganda. Thank you, Sis Ria. So, when you first read it, parang hindi siya katanggap-tanggap kasi bakit hihingi ni Lord yung ganun? But only later, pag tinanggal niya yung scale sa eyes natin, ha, tayo pala yung adulterous wife when we have idols such as our relationships, no? <laughs> yes, po. Madali lang tayong mag-reject kapag tayong pinagagawa. Yung pala sa akin, ginagawa ni God. So, yung palang plan sa akin ni Lord is to reconcile muna sa kanya. So, when I reconcile with the Lord, and then yun yung mga promise niya. Sabi niya, after you promise na come to me, all of you will be raised, I will give you rest. And then in Maya 30, 17, sinabi na rin niya, I will, reach, I will restore you and I will heal you. So, siya pala yung mag-restore ng marriage. Thank you, Sis Luz. Nawala yung huli, pero nakuha natin yung sabi mo na yun pala ang meaning ng reconciliation is primarily for you, for the bride of Christ, to be reconciled with your heavenly bridegroom, the Lord Jesus Christ. Primarily, it's to Him. But because you are a wife, you will still continue to love no, your husband and the reconciliation to your husband is still part of what the Lord wants you to pray for. Yes, one in fact, I have already my prayer in Hosea 3.1. Yung amazing love talaga from God that despite tuloy-tuloy pa rin that Israel was sinning against God, God continues to bestow grace upon grace to us. Yung pinoint out nga ni Sis Elaine na I betrothed you. Nakikita ko to na the love of God continues to forgive and to extend grace. The same as what God asks us to love as He loves. To continue to forgive and to show love even if they are not changing in their ways even if they are not asking for your forgiveness and still to show the kind of love that God has shown love to each one of us and to trust that the ways of God will always prevail the justice of God will will be the one that will happen despite the circumstances that we see just trust God and to continue to love to forgive extend grace to serve uh, first serve God and then serve to fulfill our role as as the wife. So the verse that you were quoting when you were saying, I betrothed you, which is God speaking, ang kadugtong nun, I betrothed you to myself. So that is your identity. You are the bride of Christ. Maker of heaven and earth, he is your husband. So when you are resting in your identity as the bride of Christ, And your bridegroom is loving you constantly, endlessly, faithfully, lavishly, radically. You have so much love. That's why it's overflowing. Because if you are not receiving the love that God is giving you, parang it's impossible not to overflow with love. What will we overflow with kung wala yung direct connection, abiding in His putting on receiving his we cannot love. give what we do not have yes um i like to answer who is god in my life no? i see him as my persistent suitor kahit ilang beses ko na siyang binasted even before before na pinapursue niya ako his relentless love for me never fades he's so consistent he's so um yung level ng love niya hindi nagwe-waver he's persistent talaga siya to woo me back to him before i even thought about him he was pursuing me like what he said in Psalm 139 16 to 17 your eyes have seen my unformed substance and in your book were all written the days that were ordained for me when as yet there was none one of them how precious also are your thoughts to me O god how vast is the sum of them so he was thinking of me even if i was just in my mother's womb tapos nung nabuhay na ako he was still per- pursuing me. Talagang siya yung ano, nangliligaw talaga na kahit ilang beses mo nang binasted. Hindi di ako papayag hanggat di kita makuha. So, ang dami niyang pinadala sa aking um, instances na choose me naman, choose me, choose me, choose me. So, naalala ko yung verse ni John 15:16, You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. A fruit that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. So, kakaiyak po yung 
the fact that even if I don't choose him, he will keep on choosing me. Very ano time lingan on Valentine's. I told his Karen about this verse in Isaiah 48 that Lord, yung Isaiah 48, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of God endures forever. So kahit mag kahit ilang beses ko padala ng bulaklak, pero yung word ni God naman will comfort me, will remind me how much He loves me. Thank you, Sis Joy. So hindi mo kailangan ng bulaklak, ano? Mamamatay lang yung bulaklak. Ah, yes. Magtatanim na lang ako galing pa sa kanya. Creation niya. <laughs> But he lives in bulaklak. When you were yes, met oh. the Lord's love, no, which is relentless, consistent, with an unwavering level, we might as well compare it to our love. Because are we like that? Are we relentless? Are we consistent? Are we unwavering in the level of how we love others because we see in ourselves how imperfect we are as well. Yeah. So, so sometimes it's easy to uh, kind of assess others, but are we assessing mm-hmm. ourselves? Am I still consistent like how the Lord loves me? Am I still unwavering? Because when we are not, then how can the person experience Christ? And uh, the bride of Christ is only a channel of that love. Meaning to say, yes. she doesn't fabricate any of it. She doesn't have to shoulder the weight of it because God is the one producing all that love and giving all that love. source. Yes. The wife just has to have open hands to receive and then to give. Hindi, Be a vessel. Yes. Not just to retain it, but to give it away. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang mag hearted na consumer. It's easier to love God than to love our husband. I love God, but I cannot love my husband. More so, so yung obedience napakahirap because yung pain natin, malalim kasi hindi pa natin naiintindihan. Ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon, when He said, dito sa Hosea 3.1.2, no, go show your love to wife again. Lalo na ng kinumadigan na love her as the Lord loves the Israelites. It's difficult, di ba? But it is possible if our heart is with the Lord. If we know who God is and if our relationship with Him has been established. No? Na you cannot afford to displease Him. Kasi pag it, you can only show that love to your spouse talagang kapag inuna mo si God, saka mo lang maipapakita mo yung pagmamahal mo doon sa adulterous spouse. Many who are not with the Lord or they may be with the Lord pero hindi pa malalim yung kanilang pagsasamang dalawa ang nakataas ang kilay niyan kasi hindi nila maiintindihan yun. But kapag nga malalim na ang pinagsamahan yung dalawa ni God, madali na rin magpakita ng pagmamahal. Madali na din magpatawad sa ating adulterous spouse. At lahat ng pagkakamali niya, madali mo na rin ma-overlook. Kasi ang mangyayari na The scales in your eyes will be taken out and you will now see beyond the weaknesses of your husband because you will now see the face of Jesus in the face of your husband if yung relationship mo is malalim. So, for you to be able to show love to your husband, tumingin muna sa Panginoon. Fix muna eyes doon kay God. Then renew your mind kasi kailangan kasama din yun eh. Magta-transform ka din. And that will transform you. Lumapit ka. Lang. Ang ganda ng sequence, no? Fix eyes on Jesus. Renew your mind through the word of God. And the, the transformation comes from the Lord. Importante-importante ito. I think the first step is to assess ourselves. And we can learn from the story of Hosea how the Israelites were. They were guilty of adultery because they had other idols. And di ba, once upon a time before we came to know Christ, we had idols also in our in our lives, di ba? Probably your husband was your idol, probably to your work. But we're all guilty of that before we came to know Christ. And so because God loved us so much, He forgave us. He gave His Son Jesus to, to die for us, to forgive us of our sin of adultery. And so, as we receive that love and that forgiveness, we are to show that love also and that forgiveness. And who are we to judge our spouse? Ah, ang dali natin mag-judge sa kanila eh. Pero if you will base it biblically, we are all guilty of adultery. So we have no right to judge anyone. Thank you. Thank you, Sis Malu. So ang gandang point yun no, na yung uh, idolatry natin is actually our spiritual adultery against the Lord who faithfully loves us and pursues us. 
Thank you, sis. Uh, I would like to answer who is God in your life. God is like God is my best friend 24-7 talaga kasi he's always there without any judgment or condemnation. It's just too much to mention but he is my everything, my all in all. Number four, what is it like being reconciled to the Lord? The verse that keeps coming to my mind is uh, Galatians 2.20 that says it is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. And the life that I have is not actually mine, but it's God's. So it's supposed to be man. It's supposed to be managed the way He wants me to. Like He's the owner of my life, and I'm the manager. In order to do that, is to disregard of my own fleshly desire, so that God will use the life that He gave me. Today, while I was worshiping, I came across this song. Above all, chorus that says, "Crucified, laid behind a stone." You live to die, rejected and alone. Like a rose trampled on the ground, you took the fall and thought of me above all. Above all, Lord, through your suffering, you thought of me. I was like, Lord, grabe ka magmahal. Like, you were crucified and all and everything. You live to die, rejected and alone. More than anyone can comprehend what you have done on the cross for me. Above all the rejection, above all how many times I fail, you are always desiring me, so... Yeah, nakaka amaze lang. Thank you. He is your everything. He is your all in all. So walang space for anybody to surpass his place in your life. No, You need to love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And when you say that you are managing your life, you are a steward of what he owns, which is your life. And ang ganda nung point na he is above everything, above all authority, power, dominion, and every name. But above all, he thought of you, his bride. What does it mean to love as God loves in the book of Hosea? Napaka-broad. Hindi ko rin naintindihan dita, dati like sis Ria was sharing na parang I thought anong purpose ni Lord? Bakit niya ginawa yun kay Hosea? But Hosea needs to understand how God loves him. Kasi he's part of the Israelites, eh, di ba? He's part of those sinners na who was um, committing adultery against him. He cannot preach what the Lord is telling him to preach And he will not be passionate about it if he have not experienced it himself. I see it in a way that most of us here at Praying Wife Forum, we are encouragers. We are ministering to other women. Maybe some, hindi pa ngayon, but eventually, or you are, the Lord is already using you in your own circles of friends, family, relatives. And seeing how the Lord used Hosea's experience There is like a, more of a credibility. Just like in a profession, you can't be credible if you don't have the experience. It's the same as that. And there will be no passion from him if he just spoke the word, but without having really experiencing how it is to forgive because he speaks about the, the Lord's promises. Eh? So as a mouthpiece of the Lord, you really cannot just speak those words kung hindi makikita sa'yo. And yung kaninang hinighlight din na dun sa movie that Hosea redeemed his wife in front of a crowd. Because kailangan makita, kailangan ma-witness ng mga tao yun. Because it is their way of knowing how the Lord will fulfill His promise. Unconditional. Kagaya rin ng hinighlight ng isang sister kanina na she, one silver lang ang hinihingi for her. But Hosea paid more. Gusto ipakita sa atin ng Panginoon that we are worth more than what human think is our worth because in his perspective we are his creation eh hindi tayo kayang bayaran ng pera he will redeem us sa kaya niya ngayon still more than that ang hirap intindihin pero in that story we can understand that the lord will give us much more what we see is his son died on the cross his blood shed on the cross we were clothed by his righteousness But there is more there in the eternal. It is what is showing me. Something that nobody from us can ever comprehend right now. But there is more there that He will give us. He wants to show us na He will redeem us that way. And um, because we are asked to love the way God loves us, kapag tinanggap natin siya, meron tayong capacity to obey Him as He tells us to love our neighbors. That includes our spouses. And for example, yung kaninang umaga, one of our concerns is um, yung parang, bakit hindi na lang mag-asawa ng iba? <laughs> may may ganong question. Um, if she can find love there, di ba? 
But the kind of love the Lord has is wala talagang kondisyon. Mamahalin niya tayo kahit na napaka makasalanan natin. And I like there when the part where Sis Elaine discussed about how the Israelites showed their love to God. Na there is no love, there is no acknowledgement of God's presence, there is no faithfulness. The Lord withdrew His presence. He, in His absence, we will feel the riot, the chaos of life. He came back with love much more than what He was giving before. And a promise bigger na ang hirap para sa ating sabihin, No Lord, I don't want that. Diba? So we should, we should be the same to all the people that we love. Maybe we could withdraw a little while and ask for the Lord's um, discernment. But once we come back, because the Lord will fill us up, dapat mas malaki yung pagmamahal na kaya nating i-offer sa mga taong nakasakit sa atin. So when we are experiencing sufferings, we are united with Christ. No, There is fellowship with Him because in our pain, we understand what He feels for us. And ang ganda nung sinabi mo na when we received Him, Jesus, we then get the capacity to obey and love others the way He loves us. Hi, sisters. Okay, today marks my first year anniversary with PWF. I just like to share some memories of how I came to be a member of Praying Wife Forum. It was February 2, 2020, 1.36 a.m. Yes, I was awake during that time. I had so many sleepless nights. I messaged the inbox of Praying Wife Forum on Messenger because I was browsing on Facebook and I read Sister Elaine's testimony. I messaged Praying Wife Forum inbox and I was given an appointment to a counseling session with Sister Malu. And of all the dates, it was February 14. Yes, yeah, Sister Malu was my Valentine date last year. She gave me this note, the acronym of marriage. M, make God the center. A, anticipate problems. Everyone are sinners. R, respect your husband. R, religiously submit. I, initiate forgiveness, 70 by 7. A, accept your husband. G, go to God in prayer. And E, enjoy him. Sobrang lakas ng impact sa akin. And she told me, Joy, when you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, this would be the last time that you'll need that this kind of counseling na ganito ka heavy. And so far, it's true. And surprisingly, there was an event. It's a tea party last February 15. A beautiful tea party. That's the first time I ever got attend a tea party. I didn't know what to wear. I, I don't even know what a tea party looks like. No? I just don't know where the excitement is coming from. Despite and in spite the fact that I was hurting during that time. And then I was looking for a dress to wear. Wala po kong makita. And then sabi ni ng aking house help, ate, may binili ka mga three years ago. Hindi mo pa nasusuot. Alam mo ba yun? And sabi ko, wala yata akong shoes dito. Ate, may kabibili mo lang din, di ba? Sabi ko, wow, lahat naman bago. Ano, ano to? Sabi ko. And then lo and behold, when I went inside that room, on my table, it was like my biggest number. And then I was given a pair of gloves and then a flower with a chocolate on it. And then a certificate. I didn't know that I'm going to marry Jesus that day. So it was very memorable. My seatmates were Sis Aida. I borrowed her hat. Sis Lily, Sis Lark, Sis um, Lily Beth. So it was a very memorable event for me. So um, to commemorate that, I'm going to raffle off this prayer journal from Stormy Umarshan. It's the power of a praying woman. So Sis Edel will help me give this away to share my um, gratitude to the Lord and to this ministry for leading me to this ministry. Because if not in this ministry, I don't know where I am right now. So praise God that He led me to this ministry. So I hope you'll be blessed. This is just a way. Mura lang siya, pero... <laughs> Coming from my heart, mga sister. So, send this to you. No, no need to think about shipping. Pero, sis Arlene, hindi ko kaya sa US, ha? Makakal ba yung shipping? Yes, it's a book. So, there. Yun lang po. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Praying my form. Sis Karen, sis Malu. Thank you. Sis Elaine. Thank you, Tita Cecil. Sis Edel, sis Hannah. Every one of you. Thank you so much. Raffle na. Sama pangalan ko dyan. Apo, ayun na po. Grabe. Sister Tita Beauty. Grabe po, Joy. Anniversary mo pala ngayon. Ang ganda-ganda. Yes po. Ayan, the ministry of Jesus Christ is alive. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. A go, Sis Edel. Magal. Hooray! Moon
Bunyin. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sis Joy. Ako din, ano, one, that was a wonderful day for me as well. Parang, hindi ko din nakalain na gano'n. Basta alam ko lang, I was hurting also at that time, pero I found joy to be among women who really loves God. Uh, it's contagious and so uplifting na to see promises ni God talagang parang pag hinawakan mo, maasahan natin because our hope is in God. And true enough, after all this time, we've gone a long way, Sis Joy. <laughs> and, uh, moving on. Okay? Pero um, yun lang, sisters, ano, um, it's not uh, overnight. May instant ano na mangyayari, yes, true. Pero the struggle continues. But it's okay. Before, we dread the, the struggles, the challenges, the difficulties, the pain. But, you know, so long as we are willing God will really enable us. Even though I have struggles, I know I'll be okay because I'm not alone. God is with us. Thank you, Sis Joy. Thank you very Amen. much. I love you. Love you. Amen. Never alone. Wow. Praise the Lord. Ang ganda. <laughs> Thank you, Sis Joy, for the parapol. Nakakatawa naman. So, with that, does that end our time together?